With the Cold War arms race well into its second decade, Soviet military technology achieved a number of unparalleled successes. Their effective battle tanks, self-propelled guns, artillery, aircraft, and continually evolving air defense systems had forged a path to near technological parity with or perhaps even superiority over the U.S. Furthermore, the Soviet Union had imminent plans to introduce a new upgraded successor to their feared T-62 and T-55-54 battle tanks. These plans posed a threat to the American and West German militaries positioned on the other side of the Iron Curtain. Both countries needed a revolutionary tank design to compete with the latest Soviet anti-tank technology, so they joined forces to build the MBT-70 main battle tank. This footage shows a speed test of the tank, a military vehicle considered ahead of its time. It could reach incredibly fast cross-country speeds, both forward and backward, despite its immense weight. However, the promising tank never went further than a prototype. The West Germans and the Americans were in disagreement over the design from the beginning, which eventually led to both countries pulling out from the project. West meets West. In the early 1960s, the US and West Germany armies had built two new heavy main battle tanks, the M60 and the Leopard 1. However, it appeared that the Soviets' vastly improved version of their T-62 main battle tank would soon outmatch them. The upgraded Soviet tank would have enhanced armor, a three-man crew, and a novel auto-loading main gun. Enemy armies wouldn't know until years later that these tanks were actually uncomfortable and cramped, which reduced the crew's efficiency. Even more, the main gun's autoloader didn't usually work. Still fearing the development, West Germany and the U.S. continued to upgrade their tanks. And as the future Soviet tank entered production, it seemed inevitable that both countries would soon be outmatched. In light of this new threat, West Germany and the U.S. decided to join forces and develop a brand new main battle tank, or MBT, that they hoped would become standard for both the West German Bundeswehr and the U.S. Army and Marine Corps. This promising tank was designated the MBT-70. A very fast tank. The MBT-70 was a design created from scratch, where the best existing features of both countries' technologies would meet. The MBT-70 had a hydro-pneumatic suspension that enabled the tank to kneel forward or backward. This improved the efficiency of the main gun's aim at distant targets, and a lower depression angle for fortified haul-down positions where the tank needed to fire from behind protection. The hydro-pneumatic suspension also improved the tank's handling. It would stay as low as 4 inches from the ground on ordinary roads, and as high as 28 inches while going cross-country. This mid-air photo was taken during one of the tank speed tests at Aberdeen Proving Ground. Each design team chose different engines for their own tanks. The Americans selected a Continental ABCR air-cooled V12 diesel system with 1470 horsepower. Meanwhile, the Germans decided on an MTY diesel engine with 1500 horsepower. Both tanks could travel at a top speed of 43 miles per hour, making the MBT-70 prototype the fastest main battle tank in the world at the time. It was also built with a cupola that allowed it to drive backward at full speed. The turret was large enough to house a three-man crew, a departure from standard tanks where the driver would sit in the lower front hull and apart from the gunnery crew. The tank's armor was made up of two spaced layers. The inner one was made of steel that also served as a spall liner, and the outer one made of harder, cold-rolled steel. It was designed to help defeat high-explosive anti-tank warhead rounds, one of the Cold War's most dangerous anti-tank weapons. The MBT-70 also had fireproof doors, bulkheads, and blowout sections in the ammunition storage area for minimizing crew injury in battle. Disagreements From the beginning of the joint project, the two design teams butted heads and faced numerous disagreements. The language barrier didn't help, and the rivalry that grew during development affected teamwork. Both teams even argued about whether the tank would use the Imperial or the metric system. They ended up using both, which only added to the project's costs. Instead of choosing only one gun for the tank, each country decided on a different one. The Germans went with a simple auto-loading 120mm Rheinmetall gun. In comparison, the Americans insisted on using the much more challenging to utilize XM150 auto-loading stabilized laser rangefinder equipped 152mm gun system. The problem was that the American gun and launcher system never really worked and was riddled with performance issues. Both Germans and Americans did agree, at least, that the tank's mobility was excellent when the prototypes started their testing phase in 1968. 
However, the MBT-70 had yet another big problem. Since the driver would be inside a rotating turret, the tank's designers came up with the idea of mounting him inside his own contra-rotating cupola. Whichever direction the turret was facing, the driver would always face forward. But these soldiers were used to being in the front of the tank's hull in an unmovable position, so they were suffering from motion sickness that greatly hindered their aim. Home sweet home. In the end, there were too many problems with joint cooperation from the two powerful countries. Too many leading-edge technologies were incorporated into the design, which meant the tank was very difficult to use and cost escalated. By 1969, the MBT-70 cost five times what was proposed. The price tag for only 14 tanks and their trials had risen to $303 million. The disagreements and the cost ultimately forced the West Germans to leave the joint project. The U.S. Congress also pulled out of funding the U.S. project in 1970. Each country took their prototypes home. The West Germans improved upon their design, which later developed into the excellent and current Leopard 2. With Congress pulling out, the Americans requested additional funding for evaluations and improvements over the completed prototypes, and with a lower budget, changed the project's name to XM-803. The MBT-70 was the last time two countries attempted to jointly develop a tank. <laughs> 